Welcome back to Let's Play Diablo. Let's play some more Diablo. Now that we're on level 12, we're getting excitingly close to the most coolest and importantest part of the game. And I'm certainly wondering what on this floor we'll be encountering as far as fucking ridiculous projectile guys goes and like resistances. This guy definitely doesn't look all that friendly. And uh, these are things I normally would expect back to encounter a little later, actually. Given that they're fire drakes over here, I might try to throw a little lightning at them in between everything else. Although, you know, they don't seem too bad. They seem practically friendly. I think. Thanks. Thanks. I don't want to get so close, though. So yeah, we're really not seeing any projectiles at this point. This might turn out to be like a pretty cush level to be running as a warrior. These guys. Uh no. Nah. I'm gonna do something about this mana pool. I don't know. I hope that I just level soon or whatever. And yeah, they are an enemy type that I normally expect to encounter a little later. I'm surprised that I'm having so little trouble with them when I'm fighting them. Or my shield is like 17 du durability right now, so I should be able to fight for a little while longer. It's pretty much my timer of like when I have to take a break from the fight. Because it's like my shield turns into sawdust and then Griswold glues it back together. And then I just kind of grind it back down again. Alright, let's give me some strength. Because there's all this heavy stuff that I really would like to be able to carry on my person. Lightning is the best spell I can think of to attack these guys with, but it really doesn't seem to be... Oh, someone died, which is great, after like six casts or whatever. But yeah, this sort of looks like the best I can probably do right now. Look at this fucking blue guy. Like, it's another fucked up palette guy, which is Viper Flame. And then, yeah, I don't know. I would love to have the job naming the fucking guys like throw spooky sounding words together and you know I could make their palettes too I'll take the regular palettes and just like pick some cars at fucking random that'd be kush since I think they lost so much of the original Diablo team um, from the original game to this game like they have a lot of guys moving to Torchlight or whatever like I know that Matt Yulman who did the music I think he's working for the company that does Torchlight now. It's called like Runic, I think. And so I don't really know what to make of that. I mean, it's not as though like the music in the new Diablo is going to be lacking or something. It's probably going to be like a ridiculously good game, but it is kind of weird to have a bunch of the original crew missing. You know? So anyway, um, I think I want to put this down so I can use it and. Uh, not sure if there's something else I wanted to do. It's really fucking weird that that guy dropped a dagger. Like, I don't know if that should be allowed at this point. I'm actually pretty offended. Anyway, let's use that. And there's a, uh, there's the, the purple ranger. I'm pretty, I'm pretty scared myself. Um, okay, I'll just kill some more black knights, like a man. And you know, the louder you click, the more powerful your attacks are. I actually learned this in clown college, where I went to school.
Ah, ah, already? Let's get out of here. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. This better be amazing. Ten points is... I mean, that is a fair number of points, isn't it? Um, and, like... It actually raises my damage quite a bit. And, like, makes it into a really tight range, but, like... It's also a lot slower, obviously, than this sort of speed, so it's just a little bit of, like, a weird anomaly. I will keep it, I think, just to tell my grandchildren that one time I found a dagger of gore, and it was really stupid. Alright, let's do this now. Let's try that. Ooh, ooh. Extra crispy something something. Yeah, get over here. Like, I'm not even going to have to fight this unique. I need to see his name. Lion Skull the Bent. You're silly. Your name is the Purple and Orange Ranger. Um, maybe the Power Rangers had, like, real names, like, Jody or something. Or, like, Ben. I forget. I sort of never watched that one past the intro. A cloak? Alright, dude. You'd better be good. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, you know what? It's going to be like the cloak of like taking an epic shit. And it's going to be like how much six armor and like, I don't know. I feel a little bit silly. I feel like this level is like playing with my head. I don't know. I shouldn't feel too bad. Yikes, can I get through? I need to fucking blast my way through it. It's scary. I hate being tucked in a corner like this. This is like how people die in Diablo. And we actually like get to the point where like if I'm not really quite careful then there's not a lot keeping me from just getting ganked. Especially when the potions run well. Luckily, we seem to be back to monsters that cannot open doors. Why is this guy in, like, a little prison? He can't get out of here or do anything in here. What is this? This is like... This is like a circus. This fucking shop is a fucking circus. I'm expecting to see Lion's Beard or whatever. That guy going around on a trapeze or something. I'm kind of pissed off, actually. Ooh. And, uh, there's more... I mean, there's a light back here for some reason. I don't know what the deal with that is. It's probably just, like, for no reason at all. But, you never know, I guess. No, it's just a spot. Uh, this game can be funky with that stuff sometimes. Um, let's have a look around. Huh. I wonder what durability my shield's at now. Nine! It's been like five minutes or some shit. This is like... Oh, that looks like an extra durability bucker, buckler. I wonder if it'll be like something ridiculous of sturdiness. And uh, that looks cool. Someone left a book here. Take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein, for they are the last legacy of the Haradrim. Nearly 300 years ago, it came to be known that the three prime evils of the Burning Hells had mysteriously come to our world. The three brothers ravaged the lands of the East for decades, while humanity was left trembling in their wake. 
Our order, the Horadrim, was founded by a group of secretive magi to hunt down and capture the three evils once and for all. The original Horadrim captured two of the three within powerful artifacts known as Soul Stones and buried them deep beneath the desolate eastern sands. The third evil escaped capture and fled to the west with many of the Horadrim in pursuit. The third evil, known as Diablo, the Lord of Terror, was eventually captured, his essence set in a soul stone and buried within this labyrinth. Be warned that the soul stone must be kept from discovery by those not of the faith. If Diablo were to be released, he would seek a body that is easily controlled, as he would be very weak, perhaps that of an old man or a child. Well, that's a pretty cool story. I'm just wondering why the people didn't try accepting the Lord God Jesus into their hearts, because then you can't go to hell. And, you know, maybe if they had thought of that one, then, you know, maybe there's something or other about, you know, the terrorism, you know, down in the east. That all wouldn't have happened. Um, okay, so... I can't open the door. You're standing there, guys. Can I come in the clubhouse, please? No, I can't open the door, you see. Because you're standing there. You're uh, you're blocking the door, you guys. You're blocking. Come, come on. Okay. I'll just... Not enough mana. There. Alright. See, you can't stop me. You can't just, like, say no heroes are out of It's actually really rude. I mean, my durability breakdown doesn't seem to be too bad. When I looked at the shit about like how they calculate that, it seemed like there was somewhat of an element of luck about it. Whether like, like every time you block or something, there's a chance that it'll degrade, something like that. I don't, I didn't really understand it. I mean, I never understand any of this shit. And like, also, this is like really dumb. What the fuck is going on in here? Why do you guys build this fence? No one will tell me, huh? I'm not sure what I want to do with this level. I think I'd like to be thoughtful about how I spend it. And I'm also gonna go explore this last corner. Alright, well that was very, uh... Um... Discoverative. Now here we stand at the foot of level 13. I'm very excited for what comes up because it's the least lucky level in the game. It's the spookiest and ultra freakiest level in the game. And we're going to make one last town run before we end the video today. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. That's, uh... That's like sad and silly and I don't know. I wish it were like a real armor, I guess. And then that's really, really, really bad. And uh, that is actually pretty fucking good. That is like really pretty sick. Um, I might, like I think that's better than this stupid crimson plate. Yeah. It's like hell of more armor class and like more resist and minus damage. So, I think it might even be better than what I've got. I don't know. The hit recovery might change shit, but like, I think I'm about to run into Hell of Fire in the next level. We have to see. I'm a little confused, to be honest, about all that shit. But anyway, I'll put this other exotic armor down and this down too, I guess, for now. You know, depending on how 
um, the lack of hit recovery will go. And this is going to go because it's just outclassed. Anyway, let's just take care of business. Whoa, what can I do for you? <laughs> it's so expensive to repair. Um, let's sell some shit then. Let's see. You're worthless. 90 fucking gold. You're gonna go. And you're gonna go. So now I can afford to repair my shit. That's good stuff. And that's... I mean, I guess I'll check one more time for a shield. Let's see. Accuracy, blah blah blah, maul. Shield of the wolf. That might be pretty good. 10 armor and shit. Requires 50 strength, so it's probably... Um, yeah, I think I'll grab the gold for that, considering it's like... Minus 3 damage. Wait, no. I don't know, how much hit points do I have? 30 would probably make a pretty significant difference at this point. So, I'm gonna grab this gold and Whoa, what can I do replace the shield, I think. And if it turns out that I'm wrong, I can. Wait, no. Fuck, I just see a better one. Like, resist is amazing and dexterity is amazing, so, uh. Fuck, this is kind of a. I want the. I want this one, I think. Fuck me. I'm very. I'm very finicky. Alright, and this goes down, and if it turns out that it's better, then I'll come back for it, I suppose. And then this... Hmm. I'm really not sure. I think I want some more strength, because... Well, I just found a really sick armor, so it's like... I know that I could potentially use that, but obviously it's not really going to be as good as something with resist and accuracy for me. And then there's like, you know, the field plate. I still can't even wear this. I think I might as well just give myself strength. There's no point in, you know, avoiding that. And hey, I look really cool, but uh, this is better. It's even got... No, it doesn't have more armor class, but like, fuck. The minus damage is a huge deal, and the fire resist is a huge fucking deal. Alright, please join me next time when we enter the last major area of the game. Thanks for watching.